What do you think is on the agenda, Davey? Good morning. Good morning, Kay. Yes, things palpably more relaxed at Stormont Castle this morning than for recent Prime Ministerial visits. Sir Keir Starmer stepping out of the vehicle with his folder tucked under his arm to receive a warm smile from Northern Ireland's First Minister Sinn Féin's Michelle O'Neill, the first Irish nationalist to hold that office. She was joined, of course, by the Deputy First Minister Emma Little Pengelly from the Democratic Unionist Party. So two women from opposite ends of the political spectrum sharing power at the helm of Northern Ireland's devolved government. Sir Keir, of course, was also joined by his new Northern Ireland Secretary, Hilary Benn. They've gone inside and there is a lot on the agenda because with a power-sharing coalition, you have a vast array of differing aspirations around how Northern Ireland is funded, around how a post-Brexit trading concerns should be addressed. And because of Sinn Féin's stunning electoral success, now winning most Northern Ireland seats in West Westminster for the first time. That constitutional question has to be on the agenda too. Is it time uh, to set down a timeline for a referendum on Irish unity? After meeting uh, with the First and Deputy First Minister here at Stormont Castle, the Prime Minister will head to Parliament buildings where we understand he will meet with the leaders of other political parties. And I think there is a hope that all of this signals a new relationship between Downing Street and in Northern Ireland because Sir Keir Starmer, of course, has some knowledge and experience experience of the unique sensitivities of this place. He was a human rights advisor to the Police Service of Northern Ireland uh, for five years. His, his family holidays in County Donegal, they describe it as a very special place. He might wish he's on holiday in County Donegal by the time he's finished dealing with all of those different political aspirations after all these meetings in Northern Ireland this morning. I think we've just seen some images, actually, of uh, the leaders meeting. I'm not sure if we can eavesdrop into what they're saying. Let's see if we can, David. Yeah, okay. When did you win recess? Is it? So we went in recess last week. Yeah, yeah. because you're a little bit earlier, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So we still have, you know, some key pieces of business. We have the government, for example, so we may have to do a few things. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, if I heard correctly, Kay, the Prime Minister used the word reset, which is a word we're hearing a lot in terms of this tour of the Four Nations, because, of course, he's a, attempting to establish a new a relationship with Scotland, with Wales and with Northern Ireland. Um, because the Prime Minister, of course, is following a, a Tory government uh, with a difficult record in terms of its relationship with the other nations, not least here in Northern Ireland. First Minister Michelle O'Neill, who's chatting with uh, Sir Keir Starmer as we speak, accused the Tory government of playing fast and loose with the Good Friday Agreement, particularly in relation to the Tory relationship with the DUP. You will remember that it was the DUP who propped up Theresa May's minority Tory government back in in 2017 following a confidence and supply deal to the tune of 1.5 billion pounds and also because of Brexit of course because Northern Ireland is in the unique uh, position of sharing a land border with the Republic of Ireland which remains in the EU so there have been lots of complications around post-Brexit trading and that is going to be one of the issues on the agenda today as he chats with the First and Deputy First Ministers and other political leaders in Northern Ireland.